on June 27, 2011, in Las Vegas, Nevada. A very special edition of Monday Night Raw. A guy by the name of Bill Brooks, better known as to the wrestling world, CM Punk, delivered what is probably perhaps one of his most famous, but yet his most infamous promo of all time. It was the, if you will, the promo that was heard around the world. Better known as the pipe bomb. And you see, just like him, I have a lot of things that I want to get off my chest. Let's start with the obvious. You guys see me for a year now. You see me as the guy who, for starters, Got jokes when I'm on a bridge. I jumped out. I went up. A, I failed to win the TV title a record thirty times. You guys keep on ribbing me because of the fact I keep. I won. I am proud to say that I won the prediction championship. And you guys keep on ribbing me at the fact that I work at a certain fast food restaurant. What I'm basically saying is you guys see me as nothing more but a joke. A living, walking, breathing, writing material, if you will. You guys don't see me as the guy who for starters defeated Corey in my debut last year at King of the Mic. You guys don't see me as the guy who challenged Daz three times and did not stop until I got a victory over him. Hell, you guys don't even see me as the guy who defeated Travis Anderson for the first time in two and a half years for the title of Group MVP. You guys see me as a joke, no more and no less. That's all you've ever seen me as. Well, Here's the thing about this. You're right. I keep on living in the past for a year now. And I'm proud to brag about it, but you see, all of that, that was a year ago. This ain't 2023 anymore. This is 2024. This is beyond last year's Kingdom Life. This is beyond trivia takeover promo slam and all that. This is the king of the mic where the winner of this tournament will not only win the crown but will be but will be crowned if you will as the first ever Max Wrestling Duel Champion. Now Phoenix you mentioned last week that you Consider me as a complete rip-off version of yourself because of the fact that I'm in your shadow even though you never wanted me there in the first place. You keep you mentioned that you and I have the same championship belt and you said that you will never be my mentor. Whoever said anything about that? Who said that I ever wanted you to be my mentor? Whoever said anything about that? Who said that I ever wanted you to be my mentor? Whoever said that I was in your shadow in the first place? Like I actually wanted to be in your shadow? Phoenix, you are a six time knowledge champion. And you really think for one minute that I wanted to be in your shadow and I wanted you to be my mentor? Because of the fact that you defended that title against me in my first trivia battle? Phoenix, I got my eyes focused on bigger prizes than just the knowledge title. I'm mean, think about this. I won the prediction championship. I won group EDP. I won group MVP within one year of me being here at Max Wrestling. And now, here I am in the finals of the King of the Mic, where I get the chance to, like I said, be crowned as the first 
ever dual champion. Now, Beer, you mentioned that you're going up against three guys in a finals. In the finals. Three guys who cheated their way here. Well, in terms of Phoenix, I agree, because he had camera cuts. At least I did my promo in one take. Now, sure, you can say that my promo was a full-on conversation with Coach Anderson, and you're right, it was. But you see, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Speaking of that charisma, I completely forgot that you was in this final. You was in this fatal four-way. How silly of me to forget you about that. Well, again, it should make sense that I forget about you. Well, coach said time's up. Say goodbye to the mercenary and say hello to the new king of the mic. <laughs> Ain't no way. 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 Ain't no way, 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 ain't no way. Slap my ass with a full grown Saharan Desert olive baboon. Okay, yeah, I will admit I was wrong to use camera cuts last week, knowing it will most likely get me DQ'd, but as I said in round one, you cannot pay me to give a shit. And I guess it didn't matter since, since I come to find out that everyone cut corners last week as well. And the captain has allowed some AI voice bitch to overrule his decision and we all go through. Quirky. To be honest, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me if it was all planned from the beginning. Nevertheless, Charisma using his manager's voice again? Look man, I get it. It can be nerve-wracking stepping in front of the camera. Hell, I still get nervous doing promos. But in the words of John Cena, you gotta step up or step aside. Chris Reed, I gave my opinion on you last week. It hasn't changed. If anything, my opinion is only lowered. See, I, I don't want, nor do I need a manager or a coach to cut my promos for me. And finally, beer. The last time we met at Promo Rumble 9, since then, all I heard from you was complaints after complaints about it being a two minute promo. And then, when you gain a title shot against me, you faceplant hard AF. Seems to be a repeating cycle for you, doesn't it? You complain, then you fail, you complain, then you fail, over and over and over. <sighs> So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's everyone. 
as as you can see i don't need a manager or a coach to cut my promos for me i'm also not going to bitch and moan if i don't win i do have one final message for the captain however because i feel that it needs to be addressed these last couple of weeks it seems you found a way for people to pass through into the next round almost like you're afraid to upset them and or allowed a non to overrule you why <clears throat> seriously why take control of your ship or pass the reins down to somebody who actually has a fucking spine because all i've seen the last couple of weeks is you acting like tony khan in the face of cm punk so that's it I'm done. Have a good one, everyone. Phoenix, out. Well, enough is enough, and it's time for a change. I try to be a nice guy. I try to play by your rules. So, Anon has spoken. So, in the midst of the triple threat match that we had, it took someone else to speak on someone's behalf. We had Travis with Chris and Feeney with his camera cuts. Does it mean a bit ironic that they're doing everything in their power to want to take on me in the final? Whereas I, I won fair and square. Cypher even said I won fair and square. And that, my man, is respect. So, King of the Mic final it is. Fatal four-way, I don't give a shit. Who I, I said at the get-go, I don't care who I face. Because there's only one goal, one goal of mine. That's to become king. Last year, this time last year, I defied all odds to get to the final. I lost to, at the time, the world champion, Mr. Moses Marquez. El Jefe himself. The GOAT. My former tag team partner. And one day, we will get those belts back, my man. Let me show you. But on to big bigness. You see, this year has not been good for me. Um, unfortunately, there's a lot that's gone on. I don't want to get too much into too much detail. A lot of people know what's happened. Um, I have uh, lost a lot. Um, I lost the... Um, the tag team championships with Moses. And I also lost the chance to win or regain my um, knowledge championship. But Feeney. Trivia Takeover 2026. I still fucking hope you have that title. Because I'm going to take it away from you. And the fact that your promos only last only a couple minutes, uh, believe me, sir. It's just a shame that your promos are so short because you know you couldn't last more than three minutes, Daddy. Woohoo! Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. Mr. Reed. You claim that you, um, you claim you want to try and be blocking. Dude, Larkin smoked the shit out of you. And there's only one person that's ever smoked Mike Larkin, and that's me. So, how are you going to smoke me if you can't smoke anybody else? And your problem is what I've seen. They're about as worse as Mercedes Monet's. And I love Mercedes. Your pros suck. As well as your damn career. And there's another gentleman who I've never seen before. Charisma. Now, I don't know what to expect from this cat. I don't know whether he's going to have um, his manager to speak for him. Is he going to have um, 
lawyer to speak for him? Is he going to have dads to speak for him? Is he going to have God to speak to him? I don't care. I, you can bring any anybody because I'm hungry. I'm determined. And I'm not going to stop at nothing to reach my destiny. And when I win, the king of the mic, my muscles may ache. My mind is empty. My body is broken. But at nothing never lead me to my throne. And as I said a couple of weeks ago, promo slam. I'm counting down the days, baby, when I become the world heavyweight champion. I've had one of the best rookie years since my return. I was only around a match only for a little bit. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I just did not have the time to arrive with Max until I uh, I wanted to make an impact. And I made a damn impact. I'm a former knowledge champion, but I'm not counting that reign because my reign didn't last very long because I was robbed out of my title. I'm a former tag team champion. But the best partner in the world in LFA. And judging that I'm still trying to uncover the mystery of a non maskeress and his two little bum boys, his two bum fiddlers that we know that is with him. And somewhere down the line, those three bastards are going to unmask. And when I find out who they are, because I'm going to get them, I will unmask the three of them. And I will show you who the real cowards in this world are. Hiding behind the mask is a sign of a motherfucking weakness. And on Maskris, you made life personal for me now. You put me in a fatal four way, and as I said, I don't care. Because I'm not going to stop at nothing to reach my destiny. King of the mic first. Then I'm going to go to Promo Slam, where I am cashing in my Iron Bank contract. And I don't care who is champion. It can be Daz, it can be Phoenix, it could be, it could be Cypher, it could be Teddy, it could be Trav, it could be Lawyer, it could be the Pope. It could be even Satan himself. Because this fire-breathing dragon, this mad Welsh dragon, is going all the way to the very top. Instead of saying, it's Tiffy time, big up Tiffany Stratton. Instead of, it's Vader time, God rest your soul, Leon White. And no more of my entrances for El Jefe's last night at Dynamite. It's now beer's time. And if you don't like it, tough fucking shit. My time has come and nobody is going to stop.